Everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement, create a new one, and use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 524. NASDAQ is up 247. You got the um, S&Ps up 72. That's a gain inside the, uh, all the indices are about 1.6 to 1.7. Dow's at 1.5. Gold contract, gold contract up $5.10, trading at uh, 1,800 an ounce. We got silver up 43 cents, $23.60 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck. $81.42 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note right now, trading up nine ticks at 131.16. The 30-year up a half a point off 15 ticks at 160.04 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 106 ticks, trading out at 93.974. Euro is out here at a price point of 115. The yen is 113.66, and the British pound is 136 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the SPs? Let's take a look at them. This is going to be uh, some fun coming into the close here. And this is what it is. So, you have the SPY right now trading up $7. You're at 442. You get a swing point that it took out when, when that, that swing that was established last week uh, on the 7th. That swing point was going into the downdraft it failed on price failed on volume now that swing point folks okay had 72 million shares well we're not going to do the 72 million the real kicker is going to be do you get any type of pullback coming into the close uh the number that if you are going to have a failure is 441.68 which we could get pretty easy actually okay um you know we'll see where this shakes out if you're just listening to dave and i agree with what dave was saying um, that it's very unusual when you have a market that pops like this. And even though I'm in the, the market that we want to pull that it's going to come down lower, when you get a market that pops like this, it, it's almost like, okay, these prices probably will, will hold. That being said, you can see that you don't need much for a failure to come in. And I love it when something is that subtle that that's my point because if it only pulls back a little like that it's like okay man you couldn't even hold that price and it should have been able to hold price okay so now we have the number the number is going to be 441.68 if you close underneath it there's a failure in price and volume you're going to go right back down the other side that's the first part second part goes like this if we hold the number then what you do have game on is that you have game on for 444.80 that's 89. That's the swing point that was established out here on the 21st. NDX 100 is the exact same setup. And I'm going to show you something inside the uh, NDX as well as the uh, S&Ps. So inside the NDX, the number you're going to be watching is 365.69. Uh, the difference on the NDX is that we will have the volume. That being said, you're actually still going into 97 million as well as 76 million, and we're going to only do about 40 million. So it's going to be an intriguing close. Now, let me show you something here from this morning. We already have a seller that, that's in here, and the real question is, is that what are they going to do coming into the close? And what it is is this. So when you do price and volume, even intraday, you know, the NQs right now, are up 263 points. We're at 15,027. Well, the bottom line is that when you're actually looking at when's the last time we had any volume, it's 14,953, which was established at 20 minutes of 10 this morning. So the first sell, and it's right there, the first sell, you know, inside the future market, that's not going to be you or I, okay? This is going to be some pl big player in the, mus in, the, in the futures market, but probably, a, you know, a bank, a broker dealer, whatever. Bottom line is that we came down with 57,000 contracts, just like out of nowhere. That more than likely, my, my take here, okay, even after going through that whole thing, my take is that you're going to get a little more weakness coming into the close here. That's kind of, that's where... I'm at at this particular point. So we'll see how this shakes out. And 
so that was the first one. And now what, what just happened as, 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 as I was explaining that, you can see there's another one that just came in with 43,000. We're, we're on a new bar right now. So the first one had 57, the second one had 43. And what we had done is that at 20 past one, you had tested that area with tremendously lighter volume. That's where we stand. So it's gonna be pretty cool watching this whole thing shake out. Gold contract continues to want higher price. Um, uh, what you have here inside of the uh, gold contract, and that's, I hope, a lot of our Tigers. One of our Tigers said they were part of that bar, and they were part of that bar, by the way, of making money, which is a beautiful thing. Because guess what? You gotta take the money in order to make the money. We take a look at the gold contract. What we have with the gold contract is this. You know, this is a, a real, this is really a cool lesson, folks, on complex ABC structures, you know. And I, you know, I'm not saying that you have to trade them right away, but once you start looking at these for a couple of years, you're gonna see how these work, man. And they're pretty intriguing. They're really intriguing, actually. What I like about them is this. So look at the gold contract. When you get it confirmed, ABC up, and it's a complex one. This is what ends up happening. So picture, most of the time, that you can miss an ABC in a second, folks, okay? So when you get a complex one, what happens is that, okay, man, we got an ABC structure that's in place. Then what ends up happening is this, is that, and, and if we take a look at this one, you're gonna see on October 8th, you took out the B point, you took it out with volume, it had everything, but then it gave it up in price in spades, too. I mean, we went from 1782 to 1753. The thing to keep your eye on, on a complex ABC, is this. So first, you take it out, and you take it out with volume. What we don't know is that what will happen after that. So you have to wait. And if it's a complex ABC, and it's going to go back after the volume again, and will likely take it out, you pull back with tremendously lighter volume. That's exactly what we did. You can see we went up with 240 thousand contracts the next day you pull back with 115 and then what ends up happening you start pushing higher again with 168 and then you blow it away with 299 stay right there folks come right back